On February 4th, 2006, a user posted a picture on Nichan with the following message. You must not look at this picture. That was it. Nothing more. Of course, if you tell someone not to do something, they're likely to ignore you and do it anyway. And now, I pose that same statement to you. I'm about to show you the picture that was posted in the thread, which has since been deleted but was saved by a few smart users before it was lost to the internet forever. Will you look at the picture? That's up to you, but if you don't want to see it, close your eyes now, because here it is. If you manage to resist the urge to look, congratulations on your willpower. And if you couldn't help yourself, congratulations, your curiosity has potentially led you down a dangerous path. Let's take a look at why. Given the choice not to look at the image, I of course clicked the link. The link in the original thread is now dead, but I was able to find a copy of it thanks to the Wayback Machine. And many others just like me were unable to resist the urge either. After all, what could be so terrible about an image that you're not even allowed to look at it? The real answer, of course, is nothing. If you looked at it, then you're probably thinking, what? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't even scary at all. Because it's not. A little creepy, maybe, depending on how you feel about the subject matter. But if you came across that image while randomly surfing the internet, you probably wouldn't even glance at it twice. So then, why did this thread cause such a stir? And why is it now considered one of the most legendary threads ever posted on Nichan? Let's take a look. It all began with that warning, and of course, people immediately clicked the link to see what the fuss was about. Numerous people looked at the picture and stated as much in the replies. About 10 minutes after posting the link, the original poster then returned with some news. To those who looked at the image, you must hold a service, so please get ready. Fill a cup with water. Once you've done this, please let me know. If you don't perform the service, something terrible will happen. I'm being very serious. So, if users looked at the image, they were instructed to fill a cup with water, and then let the original poster know so that they could hold a service. As you no doubt know, services are generally held for those who have already passed on, not people who are still alive. It was a little weird, but people went along with it anyway. Numerous users replied that they had their cup of water, and they were ready for the next step. What could possibly happen next? Well then, let's hold the service, the original poster replied. Please turn off all the lights. Once that's done, the service will begin. Let me know again once you've done that. The next step was turning off the lights. It was starting to sound more and more like a common ritual, perhaps a game like Hitori Kakurembo. But users did as requested and awaited the next step. The original poster then replied with a series of kanji to be chanted, and instructed everyone to drink the water immediately after. And that was it. The end of the service. They were cleansed of evil. Otsukare sama deshita. You may have heard this particular term before. Very literally, it's something similar to Oh, honoured, exhausted one. That of course doesn't sound very natural in English, and it doesn't in Japanese either. It's used as a set phrase after somebody has finished work or completed a difficult task. It's similar to how we might say, well done, good job, you're probably tired after all of that, etc. When someone finishes work for the day and, and is about to leave, you say, Otsukaresama deshita to them. Thanks for all of your hard work today. This phrase, while seemingly nothing more than a polite throwaway at the time, later became very important. Other users questioned why a service was even necessary after looking at a photo, and the original poster claimed that it wasn't actually the image that was evil. 
The image itself was nothing. You could look at it all day long and nothing would happen. However, if upon being told not to look at the image, you went and did so anyway, that was the problem. It was a sign that evil lurked within you and it needed to be cleansed. If you were able to resist the urge to look at it, then you were fine. There was no evil lurking within and no service necessary to cleanse it. As you might expect, more and more people chimed in that they'd looked at the picture. They filled a cup with water, turned the lights off, read the chant and then drank the water like requested. In return, the original poster individually replied to each and every one, as though a monk performing a cleansing over the internet, and warned them of the hidden dangers potentially lurking in their futures. This continued for roughly a week before the original poster suddenly disappeared. He was never heard from again. Yet the thread lived on, and it took another few weeks before someone noticed something odd. Um, looking at the picture doesn't actually have any effect. The real problem is that what the original poster is forcing everyone to do is dangerous. Those who drank the water like he said are in a lot of danger, I think. Why he used the word service. Why he made people drink water. If you think about it carefully, you realize that he's done something terrible. Why it took this long for anyone to question the weird service is anyone's guess. But then, someone finally hit upon what might have really happened, and it turned the entire thread upside down. When he was done with the service, why was Otsukare-sama the only word that didn't use kanji? He used them in all the other words just fine. It couldn't be that he meant Otsukare-sama, could it? Holy shit. The point of this reply gets lost in the translation to English, so let's take a look at it. Otsukare-sama is usually spelt with kanji. Kanji give a word an immediate, identifiable meaning, but you can of course spell Japanese using only the phonetic hiragana instead. As the user pointed out, the original poster replied normally with kanji everywhere, except this one word. That was a little strange, but perhaps done on purpose. Why? To hide its other, true meaning. Tsukareru means to be tired, as it's used in this saying, but it also has another meaning. To be possessed. Otsukare-sama deshita. You have been possessed. It seemed everyone had been played for fools, and it had taken them weeks before someone realized it. As another user pointed out, it's a common belief that water summons spirits. They love water because it's a conduit that they can move through. By making people fill a cup with water and turn off the lights, this would attract wandering spirits. The chant strengthened this connection, and then by drinking the water, the person would be imbibing any spirits that may have latched onto it due to the service being held. They weren't being cleansed of evil. They were drawing it to themselves and taking it in. They were now possessed. Interestingly, the original poster never returned to confirm or deny these claims, adding to the mystery. After everyone realized they had likely been duped and the original poster went missing, the thread naturally died down, but it wasn't forgotten. Far from it. The swift, subtle nature with which this user was able to dupe others into doing something over the internet that was intended, in essence, to curse them, was so well played that it's still spoken about today. Setting aside whether you even believe in curses or not, the way it was so easily set up that people instantly fell for it, and using Nichan's own nature against them, trolling the trolls, was an expert play that many admired, whether they agreed with the final results or not. 
お疲れ様でした。You worked hard today. And you also got possessed. If you manage to hold out and not look at the image at the start of the video, you can go back and check it now if you want. As long as you don't turn the lights off and drink a cup of water while chanting, you should be fine. Probably. And let me know in the comments below what you really think happened. Was it nothing more than a giant troll? A really smart play to curse somebody? A little of both? Let me know below, and I'll see you again next time.